My name is Tom Gallant, and first of all, I want to thank you for clicking this button on cancer and allowing me to be on this journey um, that you probably find yourself on with cancer. Uh, on October 3rd, 2004, I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of leukemia. As of this moment, I have been cancer-free for over nine years. Praise God. I can't guarantee that you or your loved one will have the same result that I had, but what I can guarantee is that you are not alone in your cancer journey. Just as He was with me, the God of this universe will be with you every step of the way if you allow Him access into your heart. I discovered then and continue to discover daily that God is greater than cancer. October 3rd of this year, um, I had a life-changing day that will uh, remain with me and my family forever. I was diagnosed with leukemia. We were just surprised. Uh, it just came right out of left field. I was feeling fine. And uh, we uh, got the report through some blood tests. And my wife and I got the report together, and we were just astonished that uh, we had leukemia. We prayed right away that uh, we'd have the best of the best of the leukemia. And uh, God bless from a mighty way, we did have it. Ten years ago, we found out this was one of the most fatal leukemias uh, there is. And God's mercy and grace that this is one of the most treatable ones. It's serious, and you know we've been having some fun the last couple of months, but God's faithfulness has been there, um, and it's incredible. Uh, the prayer at the time, in uh, God's so faithful, He knows how each one of us are wired. And uh, God uh, spoke to my heart some really special things right when I got the diagnosis of leukemia. So there wasn't a lot of fear in my my mind uh, for a couple different reasons. Number one is God spoke to me that He had me there on special assignment. God talked to my heart that He said, Tom, all I'm doing is taking you from uh, your assignment at Grand Rapids first to uh, an assignment here at Butterworth Hospital. I need you at Butterworth Hospital. That helped tremendously to know that God's hand was in this. And he opened up doors that were just incredible to us. Uh, we had access to people's lives that I never dreamed that we'd be able to share the gospel with. He also said that he would never leave me nor forsake me at the time. And I knew that he was with me in guiding that. And also I had, uh, God just put together miraculously just the best medical team that I could possibly um, dream of. I didn't have to focus a lot on that. I was focusing on my special assignment as far as what God had in store, as far as witnessing and just sharing the love of Jesus. So that was huge for me that I was able to, to know that I was in God's perfect will, God's sovereign will, and that um, the, the diagnosis and all the different complications that were out there, I kind of let them take care of those things and I concentrated on my special assignment. And uh, so again, I'm faithful that God did that to me right away. Again, throughout this whole ordeal, God's really worked in two different ways. Number one is um, He's done a tremendous job as far as from healing my body. When we got the uh, initial report back that the second bone marrow, there was no evidence of, of cancer. We were just elated. And uh, we understand that there's usually a little bit of uh, the uh, cancer cells still in there after the next bone marrow. So we were thankful from that end. I've been feeling good. I've had very little complications throughout all the chemo. Uh, testing. Uh, it's been incredible, none of the sores and all the things that usually come, so God has spared me from that and I'm so thankful from that perspective. And then from the other side, the special assignment side, we've just seen God move in tremendous ways. Testimony after testimony along those lines that God has backed up His word that He had us on special assignment. And we just, again, counted a privilege and to see God move. And He's not done. I'm, I'm sure He's got some other issues for us as far as uh, the special assignment and we're looking forward again to continuation and, uh, and how God is going to use us for His glory. While in the hospital for 43 days, God revealed to me that Jesus is the big C and cancer is the small C. Cancer is not to be feared. God also reassured me in that hospital room that although cancer is something He allowed to happen in my life, He is greater than cancer. Be assured that having cancer will change you and those around you. However, if you listen to God's voice and allow Him to change you, your journey will have an everlasting result. My story is available on the topic page of this website. I encourage you to check it out and allow God to speak to your heart.